Welcome to iLecture Online and here we're going to take a look at some conversions between intensity in watts per square meter and decibels and here we're, call, we're calling this video quick conversion because there's actually a smart way of doing this once you understand the process. So starting out with the uh, faintest sound we can hear, the threshold of sound at 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter, we already should know that's equal to zero decibels. If we didn't know that, we can simply use the equation. Intensity in decibels is 10 times the log of what we're hearing divided by the, re the uh, reference uh, threshold, which is uh, the threshold of sound. And so that would be 10 times the log of what we hear divided by that. And of course, they're the same in this case because we are listening to the faintest sound we can hear, which is 10 times the log of 1. Of course, the log of 1 is 0, and 10 times 0 is 0, which means 0 decibels. And if we take the next one, let's say we can now hear a sound that's 10 times as loud as this one. 10 to the minus 11 is 10 times as big as 10 to the minus 12. How much, how much intensity is that in decibels? Well, let's do the same thing again. This would be equal to 10 times the log of the intensity that we can hear, which in this case would be 1 times 10 to the minus 11 watts per square meter, divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter, which is, of course, a reference sound which is equal to 10 times the log of 10, and the log of 10 is equal to 1, which is 10 times 1, which is equal to 10. And so therefore, this is equal to 10 decibels. So a sound that's 10 times louder than the threshold of sound is 10 decibels. What about the next one? What about 1 times 10 to the minus 10, which is 10 times bigger than this sound and 100 times louder than that sound, or 100 times more intense. Well, let's try that out. So this would be equal to 10 times the log of 1 times 10 to the minus 10 watts per square meter divided by the threshold of sound, which is the reference, 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. And yes, this is 100 times as big as this. So this is equal to 10 times the log of 100. And of course, the log of 100 with the two zeros is equal to 2. Yeah, there it is. That's equal to 10 times 2, which is 20. So that means that this is equal to 20 decibels. Now you should start seeing the pattern. Notice that each time the intensity of sound is 10 times as loud as the previous, the intensity in decibels on the decibel scale goes up by 10. So 10 to the minus 9 is 10 times bigger than this, so this should be 30 decibels and 10 to the minus 8, which is 10 times bigger than this, this should be 40 decibels and so forth. So the decibel scale in sound works this way, that every time you hear a sound which is 10 times louder than the sound before, the intensity in decibels goes up by 10 decibels. So this here would be equal to 50 decibels. And then coming down the line here, 10 to the minus 3. Now 10 to the minus 3 is 10,000 times as loud as 10 to the minus 7, because the difference is 10 to the fourth. So 10,000 times as loud, that would be hmm, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And each time you multiply times 10, it's 10 more decibels, so this should be 90 decibels. Then here, 10 to the minus 1 is 100 times as loud as this. So 10 times 10, that's again another 20 decibels, that's 110 decibels. And then finally, 1 watts per square meter, that is 10 times as loud as 1 times 10 to the minus one watt per square meter. So again, you add 10 decibels here, which is 120 decibels, which by now we should know, know as the threshold of pain. 10 watts is 10 times louder than one watt, so this becomes 130 decibels. And 100 watt is 10 times as big as 10 watts, so that's now another 10 decibels or 140 decibels, and so forth. Of course, if you have a sound with the intensity of 1,000 watts per square meter, that would be 150 decibels and so forth. So you see there's a quick conversion scale between intensity in watts per square meter and decibels. Notice, of course, that these are all very nice round numbers, and anything in between, you actually have to go and work it out with the equation because you will probably not figure it out otherwise. But this is a very nice quick reference, so by now you should be able to see if someone says, hey, 10 to the minus 6, 10 to the minus 6, that's 10 times bigger than 10 to the minus 7, that would be 60 decibels and so forth, and I think you start getting the hang of that pretty quickly. Right. That's how you do that.